Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. In a message to the international community on the International Day of Peace 2018, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa pointed out that the achievement of global and regional peace is a necessity for every which effort should be made. His Royal Highness stressed that the primary and most urgent responsibility of the international community at the present time is to develop an international collective action system and to put in place more effective mechanisms to end conflicts that have depleted the potential of many states and peoples and to achieve a comprehensive and mutually acceptable peace. He added that work for peace and its consolidation at all levels is a clear approach taken by Bahrainis and embraced by the kingdom in its orientations and relations with the countries across the world. His Royal Highness affirmed that under the wise vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the kingdom has embodied the human values of peaceful coexistence between different cultures and beliefs. He added that Bahrain will continue to be an active partner in serving the just causes of the world and in contributing to the spread of security, peace and stability around the globe. His Royal Highness added that peace, cooperation and coexistence are lofty human values whenever they are achieved and provide humankind with the elements that will help it achieve the development that will ensure a secure and prosperous life for the people of Bahrain. He said that the process of building and development requires the provision of essential and indispensable elements, mainly the appropriate environment for peace. He added that Bahrain supports any partnerships that promote the conditions of people everywhere and achieve balanced development for all. His Royal Highness also said that the Kingdom of Bahrain believes that peace is capable of opening up endless horizons of cooperation between nations and peoples. He stressed the importance to further exert efforts to enhance international support for peace worldwide. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister loaded the efforts made by the United Nations and its specialized agencies in stimulating the countries to move forward on the path of peace. He expressed hope that the determination of the international community would take courageous steps to achieve peace in various parts of the world and open up new horizons for cooperation in the development of efforts to build a more prosperous future for mankind. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, arrived in the Azerbaijani capital, Baku, on a three day official visit to participate in the 100th anniversary celebration of the Azerbaijani Parliament at the invitation of the President of the Parliament, Okte Azdov. Al Mullah, accompanied by Chairman of the Committee of Financial and Economic Affairs, Abdul Rahman Abu Ali, and Chairman of the Human Rights Committee, Abdul Rahman Abu Mujaid. This participation comes under the goal to enhance the bilateral relations and strengthen the role of parliamentary diplomacy to achieve further progress and enhance parliamentary relations with other countries around the world. In addition to affirm the principles of security and peace on the international level in order to change the world for a better place. The delegation of the Parliamentary Division of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the chairmanship of Second Vice Chairman of the Shura Council, Jamila Salman, concludes its participation in the regional seminar organized by the Interparliamentary Union in cooperation with the Arab Parliamentary Union and the Egyptian Parliament. The meeting was held in Egypt and aimed to implement the goals of sustainable development and gender equality in the parliaments of the Middle East and North Africa. The delegation of the Parliamentary Division participated in the final day of the event which allowed delegates to review and exchange experiences. Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women Hala Al Ansari participated in the second Eurasian Women Forum EAWF in St. Petersburg, Russia, alongside representatives of more than 100 countries worldwide. The three day forum aims to strengthen cooperation between women leaders to tackle challenges and build trust and mutual respect in a world based on universal humanitarian values, rights, and dignity. On the sidelines of the Arabian Forum, Al Ansari held a meeting with the UAE Federal National Council President Amal Al Qubaisi and discussed aspects of joint cooperation regarding pro women national legislations and the principle of gender equal opportunities. Al Ansari also held a joint work meeting with Deputy Speaker of the Federation Council, head of the EAWF Working Group, Galina Karlova, and outlined Bahraini women's rights as well as political and economic policy. 
participation. It will bring together leading advocates of women's issues, women's parliaments, executive officials, representatives of international organizations, civil society institutions and other key figures. The Supreme Council for Women Secretary General will hold similar meetings tomorrow on the sidelines of the forum with leading officials and participants. The Council will also hold a high-level session themed Pro-Women Global Initiatives.